So this is just going to be a straight spiral. But we're going to do it in some darker colors here. Using these squeeze bottles, you want to be super careful coming on so that you don't splash. Now I'm just going to make a couple rings with this color. There's a tiny hole in the end of these bottles, so if you push too hard, if you're squeezing too hard, it'll spray out. You can get splatter, which will really affect other colors. It can really ruin a shirt, actually. You always want to be super careful. Basically just trying to go evenly around, I guess. Soaking, you know, what I think is about halfway down. You only really learn about soaking the more you do it. Sometimes your shirts will be too white in the middle, sometimes it's soaked right through. It's just practice, I guess. Always remember that you're going to do the other side too. going to soak this outer edge with this color here, which is a very nice green. I think it's called emerald green. Mixing colors is a lot of fun though, and anything goes. really dark in the next side. There's some splash in there, that's no good. I keep my tip pretty close to the shirt and that helps avoid splashing again. Spray ups and stuff like that and I'm not squeezing too too hard. A little bit. It's kind of like injection. You're injecting the dye into the folds of the shirt. a couple colors here. This is just a red, which almost looks orange, unfortunately. Just a bit of yellow here. And that's it. I'll try to repeat it on the other side. OK, 
Okay, we're just finishing the other side now. Trying to repeat as best as you can. You know, you're not going to be perfect. Some things work great. Some mistakes are the best thing that ever happened. Yeah, I'm going to leave that like that. One advantage of this is that you can lift it up and take a look underneath and you can see just exactly what you're doing. And that's it. We're going to bag that one and see what she looks like in a few days after the colors blend in a bit.